look at a term now before we go on to you know study about the various moment of inertias let us look at a term I will just write it down here which we call section modulus now what is section modulus the section modulus is represented by a letter capital Z okay now if I take the first two terms of the uh, first two fractions of the uh, bending equation that is uh, sigma upon y is equal to m upon i I am not taking into account e upon r section now if I have to find out the bending moment it can be written as sigma into i upon y that is the moment of inertia of the cross section upon the distance of the section from the neutral axis. Now, in a common way, this term can be termed as the section modulus. So, bending moment is nothing but the bending stress multiplied by the section modulus of the beam. Okay. Now. After this, let us now come to the uh, no topic of moment of inertia and this we will just go through the moment of inertia values for some common cross sections. If you have a, a rectangular cross section and let us say the depth of the section is B and the width of the section is B. So the moment of inertia about x x x is is d cube by 12 okay and if i have to find out the moment about y y axis this would be d into b cube by 12 okay you, you got to remember this thing now let us come to the i section now for I section, these are the common dimensions. Now before we go on to this, this I section, this is called a flange, okay, and second is called a web, okay. So this is the width of the flange, and this is the length of the web. Now, let us say the value B. So, this is the length of the flange minus the width of the web, web. So, thickness of the web. Let us say the thickness of the web is TW. So, if you subtract capital B and TW, you would get B. Okay. And D. D is the length or height of the web this is d minus 2 into tf now what is tf tf is the thickness of the flange at at the top flange and at the bottom flange and d is the top of the cross section okay in this case the value of moment of inertia about the x axis is capital b Now, same expression that same expression that we just you know noted down that is this is valid for this. This is called a C section, or it is also called a channel section. So this expression is also valid for a C section with the dimensions as given in the diagram now moving ahead <coughs> let's come to the next 
section which is more uh, you know most or you could say quite often used as the cross section of a beam is that of a triangle okay so this can be any kind of a triangle it can be an equilateral triangle or it can be even uh, isosceles scalene triangle whatever it is so let us say the depth of the triangle that is the perpendicular height of the triangle is d and the base of the triangle is b so in this case the value of moment of inertia about xx axis will be b into perpendicular height cube divided by 36 but if you have to find the let us say the is denoted as ab if i have to find out the moment of inertia about ab the base ab okay then this would become b d cube by 12 so this is it rotates about this axis and this is when it rotates about the base okay so remember these two values no need to go into the derivation of okay this would be required if you are sitting for a subjective exam now let's look at a circular section for a circular section let us say this is the diameter of the circle is a symmetrical body and this would come about pi by 64 into diameter to power 4 so this is the value of the moment of inertia for circle or for a circular cross section of a beam so you know these four cross sections are very uh, you know commonly used in engineering application so you need to remember the values of moment of inertia of these cross section in order to